that's a lot of scrap heads. They're packing heavy artillery. That is not heavy, monsieur. What? This is heavy. How do you say I'm buying this game as fast as I can in French? The binary domain. It's the future, and unbeknownst to humans, robots that look like people have been living among us for the past 30 years. It's part Isaac Asimov's Robot Stories and Foundation, part Blade Runner, part Terminator, and part Ghost in the Shell. It's all action. It's Binary Domain, published by Sega. This is one of these games that makes a terrible first impression. The packaging artwork is awful and looks extremely cheap. One of the main selling points of this game is the ability to give voice commands to your team, which kind of works, but it feels like you're trying to navigate your way through a phone tree in order to finally speak to a human operator after a half hour to learn what your credit card balance is. No yes. No. Seven. May maybe. Big boy. Like I would tell my team to charge and they would order a pizza. That was sweet! But the thing is, this game rocks. Totally soaked now. World failed to express your magnificence. Once I got in to the storyline of Binary Domain, I was immediately hooked, and the gameplay is solid, predictable, and a lot of fun. This reminds me a lot of another game published by Sega called Vanquish, which you know I loved it was my 2010 game of the year. The gameplay in Binary Domain isn't nearly as good, but the storytelling and the awesome cheesy science fiction action movie feel is totally worth playing. And this game has a one-liner dropping French robot. Zoot de l'or! Oui. This is a warning. Put down your weapons and surrender. You have failed to comply with the warning. Initiating intruder suppression program. This is your typical duck and cover style shooter. Oh look, a convenient barrier. How about I roll out of the way? Maybe I'll hide behind that giant box that can withstand artillery fire and occasionally shoot enemies in the head. Yes, you know the drill. The gameplay is really nothing special, and at times it's actually quite jerky because there's always robots exploding, throwing little bits all over the screen. And frequently I would get lost and have no idea what I was supposed to do, so I just started shooting things randomly. And then there's the voice commands, which you don't have to use. You can just not plug in a microphone and give commands manually with buttons the old-fashioned way. But any small technical problems this game might have are immediately forgivable when the plot is actually engaging. Something very few games do well. There's a corporation in Japan which is violating international law and creating robots that look like humans. You're part of an international team sent in to arrest the evil mastermind responsible. And yes, you'll be blowing up a lot of robots on your way always unsure of who around you might actually be a hollow child, as they call them. Artificial persons, replicants, skin jobs. They don't even know that they're robots. Dun dun dun! The dialogue is sufficiently cheesy to always keep you laughing. You have a shower? And there's the constant sexual tension between you and your sniper, Faye. Who always likes it when you talk dirty to her, by the way. Never compliment yeah. Faye. It looks like I misjudged you. Think you can keep it up? And that's what I want to hear. Binary Domain is filled with fun characters and a beautiful environment that seems to be sparsely populated. So while the game certainly left a lot of room for improvement, it just nails it with a catchy storyline and fun, predictable action gameplay. While this does have some multiplayer options, I think it's really a good single player game. And you're basically being scored points as well. When you shoot robots, you earn credits that you can spend on character modifications and weapon upgrades. And you can approach it like an arcade game. To score the most points, you can pick the robots apart bit by bit. 
instead of just trying to shoot them in the head, you can take out their legs, their arms, their chest, and then their head, which gives you the maximum amount of points. I'll tell you that I am a binary domain fan. This is the PlayStation 3 version. It's also on Xbox 360, and I like the uncertainty of never knowing who around me might be a robot, which is why I always carry an electromagnet and a smile. It's binary domain highly recommended for you science fiction action video game fans.